Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to make a slingshot in Matter.js. First I declared my essential modules, so I'll need my composites because I'm creating a pyramid. We're going to need events because we're going to listen to mouse in order to fire the catapult. And we're going to need a constraint to build the slingshot. We're going to need a mouse constraint for the mouse to interact with the slingshot and then we'll need the mouse to do that. Then I created my engine and render and I'm running my engine and render and now I'm starting to create my bodies. So I just created a ground at the bottom is static is equal to true and now I'm creating my rock. My rock options I'm setting my density and you can play with this value to see how the rock behaves and my rock will be a polygon so I'm using matter.bodies.polygon and that accepts four arguments the starting x position, the starting y position, the number of sides and the radius of the rock. And then I'm just passing in my rock options after that. Now I am going to start to build my slingshot. So I'm using the variable elastic is equal to matter.constraint.create. So I'm creating a new constraint. What objects am I joining together or what positions am I joining to an object? So point A will be a position. Point A will be where the slingshot starts. So it'll have an X of 250 and a Y of 250. And the slingshot will be attached to body B. Body B will be the rock. Rock is the body we're putting inside the slingshot. And you can give it a stiffness value. You can think of stiffness as how stiff the slingshot will act. A higher value will mean it will be really stiff. A lower value means it will be really springy. Then I'm building my pyramid, and that's accepting the starting x value, the starting y value, the number of columns, the number of rows, the column gap, and the row gap. The pyramid will be built of rectangles, 30 pixels wide and 50 pixels high, and I'm setting the density of those rectangles to 0.001 and a friction of 0.5, but you can play around with these to make it however you want. A higher density for the blocks will make them harder to knock down. And then I'm adding all these objects to the world. I'm adding my ground, my pyramid, my rock, and my elastic for the slingshot. Then I'm adding some mouse control, so I'm just creating a new mouse, and I'm adding a mouse constraint so the mouse can interact with those objects. And I'm rendering the mouse, so render.mouse is equal to mouse, and I'm adding the mouse constraint to the world using matter composite add. Okay, now we get to the slingshot part. How can we fire the slingshot? We're going to use the end drag function. The end drag function checks if a body has stopped being dragged. And when a body has stopped being dragged, what happens? You're placing the object in a specific spot on the canvas and you're releasing your mouse button. And that's what we're going to check for. When those things happen, then the the rock will fire. So I'm setting this firing state to false to begin with. I don't want my rocks firing all the time. So this function is going to run if the rock is finished being dragged. So that's when the rock stops and the mouse button is released. So I'm going to listen to this event using matter.events.on because the mouse is interacting with the rock. I'm dragging it and I'm going to use the end drag function. So I have end drag in quotation marks. So when the end drag event happens, when you're finished dragging the rock, this function will run. And I'm just passing in and called event. So when this event happens, when the end drag starts, this event will happen. And this, so if the event dot body is equal to rock, if I have stopped dragging that rock, then I'm changing the firing state to true. So in this new matter events, what are we listening to? We're, we're just listening to the rock position. When the rock position is close to the original position we're going to let it go and draw a new rock so we have matter.events.on engine after update so after update checks it each time the screen has been updated and we're going to run this function so if firing and so if if the rock is less than 20 pixels away from the starting x position and less than 20 pixels away from the starting y position we're going to release that rock and draw a new one to take its place in the slingshot. So I have rock equals matter.bodies.pol. I'm drawing, I'm making a new rock polygon at this X and Y location, and I'm adding it to the world, and I'm setting it to join the slingshot as body B. When you're joining things in constraints, there's two points. There's, you can have point A or body A, and then point B or body B. So this is the second point joined in that elastic constraint or the elastic slingshot. And I'm setting the firing state to false. I don't want the rock to fire until the new rock has been dragged and dropped. And that's it. 